All right, so I have this app. It's pretty simple. When you click on the MLK button over here, it starts a uh, uh, speech by Martin Luther King. Okay, it's great, but I don't really want to start the speech every time I click. If I click it once, I want to start the speech, but if I click it again, I want to pause it, and so on. So every time I click it, it kind of toggles it. Okay, so every time the event click happens, I don't want to do the same thing. I want to do something different. And this is where if statements come in. So I'm going to grab an if block. And it's from the control area, drawer, folder. Um, and I'm going to drag that baby in. And what I want to do is, under some conditions, I want to start the speech. And under other conditions, I want to pause it. Okay. And what is the condition? Well, in this case, there's actually a property under MLK Player called is plain. Okay, I really want to know, is the speech playing? If it's already playing, what I want to do is pause it. Okay. But I want to start it if it's not playing. So I need kind of like a else. And the way you get an if else or get kind of a um, another branch is with this thing called a mutator. You click on this little blue button and you can drag an else in there. Okay. Once I have that, now I can say, okay, if the speech is playing, pause it, else or otherwise. So if the speech is not playing, start it. Okay, let's try this out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've got my phone, and what you're seeing is a projection of my phone on the screen. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is press the Martin Luther King, the left bottom button, that's the MLK button. So I'm gonna press it, should start the speech. I have a dream. Good, now I'm gonna press it again, and it should pause it. Okay, and if I press it again, My start it back up. Okay, so, you know, these if statements are kind of fundamental to programming. You'll see them all over the place. Um, they let the app make decisions on events. So this, you know, who knows what the event be, might be. It might be someone shaking the phone or an incoming text. But when an event happens, you can always let the app make a decision. In this case, we're deciding whether to pause or start start the speech.